Over the years, several full-length feature films have been shot here in Minnesota. And it's usually exciting for moviegoers to see familiar places on the big screen. But one film produced here almost 25 years ago transformed the quiet river town of Wabasha into a mecca for film lovers from all over the world. Your pick for best Minnesota-made film is Grumpy Old Men. A look from atop the bluff, it's plain to see. Wabasha is really a, a special place. We've got some name recognition. You know, it's the oldest city in Minnesota. Nestled along the Mississippi River, the town has an almost Rockwellian feel about it. But when a screenplay written by a local guy named Mark Stephen Johnson was picked up by Warner Brothers, the quiet town of Wabasha would be changed forever. There she is, Wabasha. It's just beautiful. Even though the scene you're looking at isn't Wabasha, the utterance of those three words was all it took. They say where you're from, and first you say Minnesota, and they all say, Minnesota is kind of the first thing that they say. And then you tell them Wabasha, and they say, grumpy old men. The 1993 film with its A-list cast was a box office hit grossing more than $70 million. But it was the characters that Mathau and Lemon portrayed, based on real-life people from Wabasha, that made the film so endearing. All right. Touch. And really the story, I think, is so based in, in fact, really. Um, the, you know, the, the writer, I believe his grandfather was the chief of police here. Moron. Putz. And, uh, you know, I read the script and I thought, oh my God, this is from Wabasha. At the iconic Slippery's Bar, we met up with Blaine Marcou, a Wabasha native who worked as a construction foreman on Grumpy Old Man and the sequel, Grumpier Old Man. Holy and I recognize, you know, uh, Indian slew in the Clickner house. Somebody moving into the old Clickner place. And I thought, oh, this would be fun. He recalls long days on the set. Seven days a week, 12 hours a day. But pleasant encounters with the talent. Uh, Walter and uh, uh, Jack Lemon were really outgoing and really easy to, easy to talk to. And, and, and Margaret, and then on the second picture, Sophia, when she came in, she just dripped elegance. I mean, you could just, you know, it was... It and was, mouths dripped all around yeah, the yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're both so pretty. King's Rook to Queen's Bishop Three. What about Little Burgess? Little Burgess was just like the movies, spit and vinegar. Now go to your shanties, all of you. You're scaring the fish away. As you make your way around Wabasha, there are references to the film everywhere you look. You? You're a bonehead. Yeah, schmuck. And honestly, it's a little difficult not to get caught up in it. You know, it's a, it's really like a, like a cult classic. What is that smell? <laughs> I mean, that's that's really pretty, uh, pretty fortunate for us. Moron, putz. <laughs> I can't believe you brought that fish in the car. Uh, now, much of that film was shot in locations in and around the Twin Cities, including Paisley Park of all places. None of the film was actually shot in Wabasha, but there's no doubt this is a Wabasha story. Oh, absolutely, yeah, and if you notice that they have this great autumn-like uh, look in Wabasha in that video, it's because they're gearing up for something. They don't celebrate Septemberfest or Oktoberfest, they celebrate Septoberfest. Yeah. It goes all the way through October 21st. Oh, fun. And yeah, they have all kinds of streets are decorated, and they have this handout of all the activities, so very family-friendly, very fun, beautiful town. Yeah. Of course, we were there for a lake trip uh, two winters ago and had such a great time down there. As well. Yeah, that's for Grumpy Old Men days. I mean, so yeah, 25 years later, and it's still rocking and rolling. They made a living from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah really still put are. Them on, put them on the map. So yeah. beat some good movies, too. Yeah. Well, next Thursday at 10, we're looking for the best waffle fries in Minnesota. And you can vote for one of the top three finalists in our online poll right now. It's at WCCO.com slash Best of MN. It's weird. We 